Hey, so this video is on customer aware Stripe checkout with a customer portal integration. So here I have just a simple website and we have three pricing plans. So we have a gold plan, a silver plan, and a diamond plan. And these are Stripe checkout buttons made with Stripe checkout code. They're not payment links. I can explain why you don't want to use a payment link in this like pricing table scenario. So in this first flow, let's say that the cost, you don't have a customer yet. This is their first time to your website. They're making their first payment. They're not an existing customer. Um, so they would just come to your website and they could click login. And we now have these hosted uh, login forms, which is like a layer of authentication on top of Stripe. But you are not an existing customer yet. You haven't made a purchase. So you can't log in yet. You would just come to the website to make your first purchase. Let's sign up for the gold plan. Okay, so my name is Adam. So I'll just do adam at test.com. And then we need a testing credit card number. And uh, paid members app, if you're in paidmembersapp.com, if you hover over our icon, that credit card number we use in our icon is uh, 4242 is a good testing credit card number. And you can also get on Stripe's website and they have all sorts of different cards to test different scenarios. So this is a, a passing card and um, one, two, three will work. Any date in the future, any third digits. And so let's say Adam test is my name and let's say Hollywood, California. Okay, so I'm gonna buy this subscription and this subscription is $10 per month. Like a gold product has a pricing plan of $10 per month. So I am going to make that purchase. Okay, and then we're uh, redirected to this hosted uh, complete your signup form. And this is just a way for the customer to now um, create a password. And then they can log in. If you have members areas on your website, like members only videos or things, we have full membership functionality, but this is also a way that the customer can just log in and get access to something called customer portal. Okay, and so now you can see that I'm logged into the website and you can see that these checkout buttons are customer aware. So actually the website knows that this logged in user is on the gold plan. That's why it says current plan, you can see it's dimmed. And if I wanted to switch plan, well, you, you don't want the person to subscribe again with Stripe checkout. You want to send them to Stripe's product called Customer Portal. So that's why these buttons say current plan, switch plan. So let's say I want to switch to the silver plan. I would just click this and we have this set up to send them right to Customer Portal. So this is actually Stripe's Customer Portal. This is customizable by you within your standard Stripe account. All the branding is customizable. You can put a logo, you can change the coloring, etc. So um, it says the updated plan. The customer can also add a payment method and they can also view their invoice history. So if they click here, they can see that original $10 invoice. If someone has ever contacted you and said, I need the last 12 months of invoices for taxes, you can just have them log in so customers can self-manage their subscriptions like this. Uh, if their credit card's failing, they can just use this customer portal integration and update their payment methods really easily. And uh, let's say they want to update their plan. Let's say they want to now upgrade to the silver plan. So within Stripe Customer Portal, they click continue and just confirm the credit card's already on file. It uses the credit card on file for Stripe. All right, and so now you're on the silver plan. So if we go back to the website, these buttons again are customer aware. So it knows that this logged in user is on the silver plan. If you go to my account, so I'm logged in here, and this is supplied by paid members app. They can also get into customer portal this way. Um, you can make that say whatever you want. We have it say manage subscription, and that is actually an integrated, uh, customer portal is integrated in here. And the customer can also change their password and do other things. Um, and this is all supplied by paid members app. But we match the branding of your um, Stripe customer portal view. So let me say I log out now. So now I'm a logged out user who just comes to the website. We make the website aware that the customer exists. So even though they're logged out, if they try to make a purchase, we prompt them to log in. Because what you don't want to do is create multiple customers. So one of the benefits of customer awareness means that you're not creating multiple customer records in Stripe for the same customer. 
And the issue is that Stripe has a unique customer ID for each customer and doesn't go by email. Just because they make a purchase, like if someone is not logged in and they go to the Diamond Clan and they make a purchase with uh, the same email address that they made, uh, that they used prior, like Adam at test.com, it will create actually a new customer record. So you have two customers in Stripe with the same email address. Stripe allows that. Um, so yeah, email is not a unique identifier for Stripe. So what you want to do is have the customer log in, and that's why we prompted them to log in. And let me log in as that current customer. And then the buttons are customer aware, so it knows I'm on the silver plan. And instead of just going to normal Stripe checkout, when I click this, it'll take me to customer portal, and that's the better way of upgrading or downgrading. And then I can just update my plan and continue. And now I am on the diamond plan. Cool, and then I'm gonna to return to the website, and again, it knows that I'm on the Diamond Clan. Okay, so this is an example of customer-aware Stripe checkout buttons and a, cust a Stripe customer portal integration, uh, all on any website builder you like, using Paid Members App, the no-code subscription app with membership functionality for Stripe users.